In Canada, we have constitutional protection for freedom of religion and freedom of conscience. Those things are protected under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Like all charter rights, they are subject to limits. So you can believe what you want and you can practice what you want, but there may be some rules and laws in place that put some restrictions on your beliefs and your practices. A recent example that's come up relates to the swearing of the citizenship oath, which is the final stage to becoming a Canadian citizen. After you've completed all the tests and other requirements to become a citizen, you attend a public ceremony to take the oath. There's been a recent rule passed by the government that says you have to be visible, so your face can't be covered. And this has in particular affected Muslim women who wear a niqab or a face covering. After you take the oath, you also have to sign something that you did take the oath. So there is a question of whether it's really necessary to see someone taking it. A woman who wanted to swear the citizenship oath while wearing a niqab has taken the government to court to argue that she should be allowed to swear the oath while wearing her niqab. She was successful, so she won her case and the government is now appealing. The questions that come up in that case are whether it's reasonable to require a person to put their religious beliefs and practices aside in order to swear the oath, and what kind of goals or objectives is the government trying to achieve in making a rule like that. Those are the kinds of considerations that we look at when we're talking about restrictions on religious belief or practice. Does the restriction that we place on freedom of religion work in achieving that goal? And then are there other unintended consequences? Questions can come up over when it's reasonable or fair to limit those rights. As a resident in Canada, you have the right to protect your freedom of religion and to ask questions about when the government is placing restrictions on that freedom. If you're worried about a case, you can contact the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, and you can also reach out to your member of parliament or your local councillor to try and advocate on your behalf. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association is an organization that defends and protects freedom of religion, and there are resources on our website about cases and issues around freedom of religion, ccla.org.